multiple time national champion. I was a collegiate national champion. I won several US Opens. I basically, as high as you can go without making the Olympic team is what I did. Hi, my name is Pauline Macias, and my nickname is PETA, and it stands for pain in the ass. I was seven when I started judo. My younger brother, Cruz, did it right before me. You know, I was already like training at a high level for gymnastics. I was strong and flexible, and it just it clicked. Like the first day I walked in, I threw this guy, and I was like, I'm in love. I went to local tournaments right away, and then I won California State Championships, and then I won the Nationals, then I won the Junior Olympics. I just kept winning, and it really made sense. And um, yeah, I had a lot of years that I went without even losing a match. So right after high school, um, I turned 18 at the end of June. Beginning of August, we drove to Colorado Springs and I went to the Olympic Training Center. That's the only thing I'd ever wanted since I was a kid. I, I wanted to grow up and go to the Olympic Training Center. And so it was a dream come true. I probably met Rhonda when I was eight or nine years old. We were just kids. But Rhonda and I would be at the same tournaments because we both are from Southern California. So we both were ranked number one in the junior division. So we both would be traveling on the same team together. Basically, we were friends ever since. We got really close when I was like in junior high and then we've been friends like literally most of our lives. <laughs> in my mid 20s, the international judo rules changed and you couldn't grab the legs anymore. But Rhonda and I had been texting and uh, I told her that I was, you know, explained to her that I was burnt out and she told me to come visit her. I went and I was at Rhonda's gym. She was in camp a lot too, so I was able to help her a lot for her fights and that's really how I learned a lot. I think one thing I really want to prove to myself is that I am now a full MMA fighter. I'm not just a judo player. I really do think that I can get to that highest level. I love it. I love it. I love it and I'm willing to put in the work and I know what it takes to be at that highest level and I know that I'm ready.